welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Chris back with a quick update, really, and a bit of a rant. Sven Botman is knackered. That's right. Sven Botman is going to be out for at least six months, probably more likely nine months, with another ACL injury. And I'm absolutely fuming at the way the club has handled this player this season. It's been absolutely disgusting. It really has. So we all know Sven Botman had a misdiagnosed ACL injury back in September. The head of the medical department or the physio department, I think, left. The club, I think, was he Danny Murphy or Daryl Murphy? I don't know, whatever he was, he was fucking shit at his job because he dis misdiagnosed this ACL injury. Let Sven Botman play against AC Milan and Sheffield United with this injury. And it, it's totally knackered and really that he had a long time away from the, the team. They decided, or Eddie decided, or some fucker decided not to make him go for surgery. He come back into the team. He's never looked the same player since. He's looked a yard off the pace. He's making mistakes that Botman never used to make. He's gone from a Rolls Royce to a fucking Ford Cortina because because he's knackered and he's held together with masking tape, much like Joe Linton before him, much like Sean Longstaff right now getting injections in his ankle. What the fuck is going on? Make it make sense. Is this Eddie Howe or is this the fucking medical team? I don't know who it is, but it's an absolute fucking joke. And you're putting players' safeties at risk here. We're trying to sign players. You want to come and play for a club that plays you with a fucking ACL injury? Who is doing that? How reckless is that for a player's career? This is absolutely disgraceful. It really is. And the fact that he had another ACL injury and played against Manchester City, we didn't even have to play. It was a cup game. We were away at the end. He had nobody give us a prayer. You had players you could have changed out, Eddie. You didn't need to shoot Sean Longstaff up with injections in his ankle. You didn't need to put Sven Botman out there with another ACL injury. Injury. You could have played Lascelles, you could have played Miley, you could have played Lewis Hoy, you could have put Dan Byrne in the middle. But no, you keep playing these players and you keep burning them out. I don't know who's at fault here, but it could be a collective uh, team at fault. It could be the medical team and it could be Eddie Howard. It could even be the players not admitting that they're injured and needing a rest. But what player is going to say, I'm injured, boss, I can't play? They're always going to say they're fit to play even when they're not fit to play. You can't trust players to make those decisions. You just can't do that. But this medical team this season at Newcastle United has been absolutely fucking atrocious. I mean, we're supposed to be this really exciting project where all these players can come and develop the game. You know, Anthony Gordon's come and he's in the England squad and all that kind of stuff and happy days. And, you know, that's a great advertisement to any aspiring players out there. You know, you look around the legs of Emile Smith Rowe, maybe at Arsenal's looking for a move, get back in that England squad. Players like that, perfect to come to Newcastle, but fuck me dead. Are they going to come here if the medical team are walking around blind as a fucking bat and kind of diagnose injuries and then the manager's playing them on the strength of maybe what the medical team is telling them that they're okay to play and then they're, they're causing even more injury long-term injury i just don't understand how this has happened to this massively exciting football club with all this great investment and all these ideas and all these plans of being number one in europe how the hell can we be number one in europe where we've got an absolute bunch of knackers Faulty Towers fucking medical team working behind the scenes. I just don't get it. I mean, we are really putting this lad's career at risk here. Sven Botman is a young man. You look at that back four. They're all over 30. Trippier's over 30. Shaw's over 30. Burns over 30. You're talking about the future of your of your back four there. Livermento's out with an ankle injury. What the fuck? I don't know how bad that is. I hope he's going to be back soon. He's apparently he's not on the warm weather camp, so that's concerning. Lewis Hall kind of get a sniff, never mind getting injured. So, I mean, Sven Botman's going to be the leader of that back four, hopefully, for years to come. But, Jesus Christ, we're playing this lad with ACL injuries. He's not even going to make it to bloody 30 by the looks of it. He'll probably have to fucking retire at 28 if we keep playing him on one leg, snapped into a million pieces with his ligaments flopping all over the place. I can't not get my head around how this football club has come to that decision about this player not once but twice you know I saw Craig Hope put something out this is a fresh injury this isn't the previous injury before but Jesus you know yourself when you're carrying a knock your body compensates for it so if you if your left leg's fucked you're putting more strain on your right leg so if he's had an ACL injury in his left leg he's putting more pressure on his right leg so then he's probably going to do damage to his right leg as well and this is just absolutely batshit crazy and really really concerned and this is exactly the type of thing that the club need to come out with and give us answers to questions need to be asked about this and I hope the journalists ask those questions at the next press conference we want a statement from the club as to how this player has been allowed to play twice with an ACL injury and cause himself longer term damage you hear about Sean Longstaff playing with injections stop playing him Get him an operation, sort his leg out. You're going to put Sean's career at jeopardy as well. You've got Louis Miley that can play there. Anderson's back from fitness. Just 
fucking use the squad anyhow. You don't have to pay long staff. And the medical team, what on earth are you lot doing behind the scenes? This is really, really concerning, not just as a football fan, but for these players as well. A football career is a is a short career. You're one bad injury away from your whole career going up in smoke. We've seen that with players before. Even Eddie Howe himself, which I'm shocked that he's letting players play with injuries. His career was cut short by a knee injury. So I'm astounded he's letting this happen. And if he's not letting it happen, this is squarely on the medical team. And some fucker needs to come out and explain why this has got so bad. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below about this ridiculous injury and the state of this medical team this year. So many bodies. It's like a scene out of Save a Bloody Private Ryan. There's that many bodies piling up. It's shocking. But let us know what you think. If this is the kind of thing you like, smash subscribe, come and join Evermore. We're nearly at 7,000. Help us get there, guys. Like the video, help the channel grow. We'll be back with some more new crash of cracks soon. So even though we're shut for international break, it ain't stopping this news. So keep tuning Evermore, guys. Hit the bell and they'll know every time we do a video. Catch you later. Cheers. Bye.